Hey, what's up YouTube family? If you're playing Fortnite and you're struggling to get that first win, I got a good tip for you. And I'm not gonna sit up here and beat around the bush. I am gonna beat around the bush, but it's camping. Camping. Camping is a very good strategy to get you that first win. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna get straight off baby. into it. Got that top four. Let's see if I can get a dummy. Dubby dubby. All right, as you can see, beginning in this video, we got four players left. Play it real cool, real stealth mode. So, one thing you want to focus on is is making it to the end game. So to make it to the end game, you got to be pretty much stealth. You got to be low key. Gather all your mats. Get all the ammo, get your best weapon, get the best weapons you're good at. Whether it's an SMG, a shotgun, or a rifle, I don't know. Maybe it could be a grenade, grenades, I don't know. But make sure you got weapons that you're familiar with. Because when it comes to the end game, you're going to have to use what you're good at. Slide down the mountain like um, This is kind of hard. I never did a recap video like this before. Slide. All right. So, Stay low key. you gotta observe your surroundings. You gotta make sure you utilize the rotation of the map. As you can see here, I'm looking around, seeing where all the enemies are located while, while I'm not giving so up my four, location. Out, if I give up my location, I'm gonna end there. up being in a fight. And if I end up in a fight that I know I'm not too good at building, in the first place, if I'm against a builder that's very skilled, I'm automatically not going to succeed and going to make my odds of winning that much slower, lower, more slim. See right here what I'm doing, I'm, I'm looking at what's going on, right? So if I can, I would, um, possibly weaken the opponents if I'm not going to give up my location which was why I said uh, odd numbers are better in for your in your favor say for instance in this case if there was three people left these two would have been fighting and it would just been me I would be the third person uh, left so I could just be picking them off and getting the opponents weak so when I do engage with the in, in, in fighting with them Upon the approach, that will already be about you know one shot, and I could uh, easily get the win that way. These are the top tips for for campers. You know, I'm not a builder, so I gotta I gotta uh, adapt to 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 the best strategies I can to win. The bushes are your friend, also. If you can find a bush. It, it, it keeps you discreet. You don't have to build and let people know where you're at, your location. And, uh, you know, what I say is push the bush. You know, people play aggressive and want to push other players. Nah, push the bush if you want to be a camper. These are the top top tips for camping. I don't know, I don't know about anything else but camping. Until my skills are better, then I'll be all right. See, we see, I'm, I'm being discreet. The guy doesn't even know where I'm shooting from. He possibly knows I'm shooting from a bush, but not, not quite sure. But see how I weakened the opponent a little bit and was able to take a little bit of uh, HP off of them. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. See how I'm, I'm making my way towards the circle because now the storm is in, in closing. I'm already in the circle now. I don't have to worry about making it to the circle, so now I can defend more. My location already, is already given up, so now i got to figure out the best rotation, the best defense to get out of the situation. It's a fight or flight response. You know, like I said, the odds are, are in your favor. Right now, it's just still an even number of players left, so... There's our, there, were, there were two shooting at me, so there's, there's one just watching. There's no telling where they're at. So you gotta pay attention to who's shooting who. Right now, that one, that odd, that, 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 that fourth player that's not engaging with me is just sitting back watching this fight. 
and hope, hope, probably another camper, hopefully waiting for one of us uh, to eliminate each other and, and probably try to get us so we can kill us at the end. See how I knew he was a good builder? I got out of that situation. Luckily, we got the Spider-Man gloves this season. And it's his first season, season of chapter three because without him, I would have been stuck in a build battle that I would know, that I had no business being in. I just seen an opponent down there. And, 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 and if you can, you know, manipulate the fights. I was just over there in that area, and then I evaded, I left, I, I flee, I fled, and now they're over there fighting, and now I'm picking off, picking off shots from afar. Sort of like manipulating the, the fight, you know what I mean? To happen. Let's go, gotta get that dubski. Gotta get that dubski. That's how you do it when you're camping out. Uh, yeah, and then you get the uh, victory, and then you get to get to celebrate, get you get to show swing off. It. And, swing you know, I barely even, up. like I said, it was really quite simple. I got them weak while they were fighting. The odds was two people were left fighting. I manipulated the fight for, to leave them two fighting, and then picked them off a little bit and got them weak. So on my approach, all I needed was one shot. Now, granted, I'm not a good builder, so the, that's the reason I have to do these type of things. kind of situation we got here okay so right here we got uh four people left again the odds are not in my favor in this one it's an even number of people left i'm afar picking people off see i shot once now i gave up my lo location so now i'm on defense defense And that's a good strategy too. If you if you, if you do give your lo location off of a couple of shots, you could uh, kind of gauge whether or not a, a player is aggressive or more um, passive. And as you can see, this player he 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 sh he returns from fire, but he kind of just stayed passive and and didn't really push me. So that let me know that I have a little bit more wiggle room to play with. That I could continue to be more defensive, or I could evade the situation even more. I mean, or, or uh, pursue it and strategize to plan my attack. But more than likely as a camper, I'm more so gonna sit back and wait to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to the last of the last of the end game and let them all fight it out and try to pick them off from afar and get them weak. Right. See, this guy, let's see, it's four people left still. I'm not sure if I'm reading that right. But it, he's stuck in a pickle. He's right between the both of us. So I'm Gucci. I just got to stay exactly where I'm at. And I don't have anybody behind me. So I could let him fight it off with that person with, that he's with. And I'm over here getting them weak in the process. Okay, yeah, so he did eliminate that person and, and it's him left. All right, yeah, I remember I just went, just one shot and, and that, was the, uh, that was the end of the game. That wasn't, that wasn't too hard. Here we have seven people left. So since there's so much people left, seven people, it's an odd number, but yet and still my rotations isn't where, where I'm supposed to be. I'm not even in the circle. So what I gotta do is strategize a, a, a good route to uh, strategize my rotations. 
basically and uh this is very important you got to realize on, let me pause it well i could talk whether or not you want high grounds or low grounds and what i came to the conclusion of is that if you go with high grounds you're you're gonna have great visibility amongst the other players like like where you can see that where they're all at but at the same time they could also see where you're at so say if you're on top of a mountain you're able to see everybody but uh, 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 what comes along with that they're also able to see you so it's like it's a it's a it's a, uh, a push and pull relationship but if you take the low grounds you're able to stay more stealth and while staying stealth you're able to have more time to strategize what kind of rotation you're going to do to make it even further into the end game so i don't know if you're not really much a pusher and you're trying to make it more towards the last fight stealth is your key and maybe low grounds is, is best for you because when you're low ground staying low grounds less opponents are going to be able to see you there's going to be less fights that you're going to engage in so i would think that's uh that's more of a better strategy for me is low grounds you know valleys and stuff Yeah, because it's very like once you get into a fight, it's very tough to uh, to 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 just like think about what to do. You have to either know if you're going to engage in it and fight, or you're going to have to take flight and 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 leave the situation. It's a fight or flight response, and you got to go full force with it. And nine times out of ten, you don't really know what you're dealing with. So it could be a very skilled player that's going to that could outbuild, outbuild you so you, you can't have too much time to decide whether or not you're going to fight or flight so stay, you got to commit to whichever one it is you're going to do oops okay my bad I had a, a battery mal malfunction uh, hold on Well, that's not, uh, you're able to stay stealth and utilize the, um, the, the, the perks of not having that much opponent seeing you, especially when there's a lot of people left. Now, as you can see here, I'm going bush to bush. Well, I'm in the bush now, but there's three people left. So the odds are, odds are in my favor. I just got to wait for a fight to break off and, uh, wait till they get the, uh, each other weak. And then at the, the end of their fight, I could just possibly go in there and, and go for the kill. Now, this isn't always going to happen, but it's the it's the best um, the, one of the one of, one of the best solutions that you could incorporate if you're not really a, a skillful builder. See, this guy didn't even know where I was. He probably looking for a build. I'm in the bush and, and lasered him like that. Got beamed. Here comes the other guy coming to pick off his loot. I just spray him a little bit, get him weak. I know I'm not a builder. I, I should have been building up. I got to work on my build. I'm not there yet. It's been years. I don't know. I'm just a learning curve. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I, I could use some good training on that, but I'm not there yet. Spraying and praying. Hopefully I get that shot off. I know I got him weak already. Go into a little bit of cinematics, different angle, so you know where he's at. So now I'm about to like, forget this. I'm gonna chop this down because it's too crazy. He misses his shot. Obviously, he's, he seems like he's a more skilled player. And and then we got the, some more cinematics. Yes, sir. We get into a little shootout. I capitalize on with the SMG spray and I get to do my dance. So so that's basically what it boils down to if you're gonna be a supreme camper. And you know basically use the odd numbers, the odd number of players in your favor, be that odd one. Let them fight it out, get them weak if you can, and capitalize when they're weak. And, if, and, and, and another thing you want to strategize the rotations. If you're gonna take the high grounds, 
you just know everybody's going to see you and that includes more skillful players if you're going to take the low grounds you're going to be more stealth less eyes are on you and you get to strategize your next uh, your next move accordingly you have more time to make a next you have more time to plan basically and you know basically the main thing is staying stealth that's the key to camping stay in stealth if you can stay low key stay under the radar make it to the end game that's the most important part to get the win if you're a camper if you're trying to get a win you haven't got one yet do, do the camping thing and not everybody's a skillful builder and i'm glad there's a game like fortnite that you don't and not everybody's the same that you're able to uh you know use other components of the game to actually get a win you never know who's going to win i mean that's the beauty of a battle royale game. You could have the most skillful player over here building his heart away and all of a sudden somebody in the bush just comes with that sniper shot and lights out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. Peace.